Greetings, Israelites and Gentiles. Grand Rising. Just giving all honor and praise to the Most High, our power. And I thank you, Father, for your Son, Yeshaya the Christ, our oil, and who shed his precious blood for us. And I also thank you, Father, for the Holy Spirit, for she leads us, guides us, comforts us, and instructs us. I'm just coming before you all today on this beautiful morning, just thankful. You know, um, I woke up this early tickled in my spirit. The Most High just reminding me about the things in the kingdom and how we can experience these things down here even though with all the turmoil and things going on the spirit is with us if you pay close attention take a look around you have two sets of people you have those who do good to themselves and to their fellow men. And then you have those who are not good to themselves and do unjustly to their fellow men. But yet, the rain still provides her rain. The trees still give its shade. The ground is still clothed with grass. The leaves carry the beautiful wetness of the dew. All these things yet are still provided for man. That is um, for the two groups. Those who practice good and those who don't practice good but what I'm trying to say is how magnificent, magnificently we are made and created in the image of the Most High how much more are we to help and provide the aid of those who need our help that's those within those without and those close by you see in this world this temporal world that is the word religion is always tossed around but never do those individuals mention what is pure religion according to the text see pure religion is visiting the widows pure religion is visiting the fatherless and it's also visiting those as they're afflicted you see with all these things going on, COVID-19, people losing their jobs, people losing their homes. I mean, you can find the likes of those who are without, those who are being afflicted, those who are just having an upside down life, so to speak. But however, we as the children of the Most High, the sons of God, we are to help those who are without. You see, as the grass gives you comfort, whether you do good or do bad, the rain 
still gives you her reign. Whether you do good or do bad, the trees still give you shade. Whether you do good or do bad. So we must repent the things that we have done. We must come to Christ, allow Him to wash us, cleanse us, renew our mind, and be strengthened. And um, it's easy. The path can be made hard depending on the mind that you have and the outlook you have on life. See, those right now have said, I want to climb under a rock right now. Those right now have said, I can't wait for 2021 right now. Those have said, 2020 is the worst year. But I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, this has been the most beautiful year of all times. We are living in a time, if you're in Christ, a time of rising. We are living in a time, if you're in Christ, a time of healing. We are living in a time a time of Christ. We are loving. We are living in a time, if you are in Christ, a time of joy. You see, these things are the elements we possess that we bring to those who are without. That we bring to those who need to be lifted up. So as I woke up tickled and just filled with joy, I'm thankful for the kingdom of God. I'm thankful for his word and his truth. I'm thankful for those who are listening to this. And I salute you to those who are helping their neighbors, I salute you to those who are forgiving. I salute you to those who have self-control. I salute you to those who practice righteousness. I salute you to those who follow God's law. I salute you. So let us continue to seek out the kingdom of God and His righteousness and you will see those things continue but be at your will on your call for the love of your brethren blessings and peace